for anyone that has a Ram 1500 with air suspension, the system is actually quite, quite simple. It's only four shocks, the sensors, the computer, the valve bank, and the compressor. I had the problem where the air springs were no good. Went to the shop, and I said, "No, it's the, it's just, it's just frozen." Evap and purge the system. They did it th six times in three days, thinking it was frozen. After that, they recommended a valve bank, which I ended up getting the valve bank because sometimes it is a problem and had them install the valve bank. I got it off of Amazon. Works perfect. It could possibly even be considered an upgrade because it has brass inserts instead of plastic inserts or plastic threads. The it ended up being the bags, like I thought from day one, where they're leaking inside here. I brought, I got a set of bags from Amazon for 135 bucks. I believe they're the Vigor brand, or that's who claimed to make it. Everything over here, exact same. See that's plastic thread, and the O-ring sits along the seat there. The new ones, it's brass, brass insert. Also has the indicator say front, the exact same lean to on it, and it's cupped to fit just like how a spring would fit. These things are stupid simple to, to replace. All you need is a 12 mil for that fitting. On the truck, all you need is an 8 mil socket to take your bolts out of your fender there and two back there and you just have to like bang it back and down to get it out and then the springs right there all you have to do is lift the axle up lift the axle up just hold it up with some jacks jack the hitch or or buy a spare tire some people do to get them off the, the pressure off those cups and up there is it's just held in by clips. And the clips are built into it. Right here. Three of them. Stupid simple. I also, it also can use regular air. And you don't have to charge it with a compressor. The compressor built in will do it for you. All you have to do is, well, mine didn't have any nitrogen at all in it. I put in tire jack mode to make sure nothing was in the leak just in case from the valve bank um, take the fitting off the spring pull the spring out put the new spring in pop the rear tail light the tail light has up in here up inside here there's a filter so you pop it down and add five milliliters of air brake antifreeze, which is what I was recommended to do by another person who had the exact same problem. And it's been up for a week, perfect, on regular air. I bet nitrogen will probably run a little smoother, but it works great. They haven't had a problem since. These are really crusty. And there's an inner ring inside when you extend it out, exact same exact same condition so stupid simple just make sure that that indicator is facing the front and is straight the clips are engaged your o-ring is clean when you put it in the new fitting and then uh start her up and get the compressor going mine was so bad it was giving me a service electronic brake because the front had leaked out through the back and it was slammed and the everything was all messed up so as soon as I kicked the compressor on, up it went. Wasn't even doing that before. Super, super easy. And if you can get an aftermarket part that can work just as well, then, then why not?